Mont Bradshaw, Jalen McClinton, and Kenneth Brinson. Ken, you can start. Right, or Saudi, you can start. We don't have a mic, Ken. Uh, Ken Kratz, your son's American Legion Radio. Lamont, just tell us a little bit about you know the fourth quarter, being able to engineer the two drives. What did it take just to keep get the momentum back and keep those two drives alive? Um, every day after practice, we do a fourth quarter drill. That's uh, one of the biggest things that you know we take away from practice is winning the fourth quarter. So in the fourth quarter, you know our mindset changed, and everybody, you know, we got to play harder, up the intensity. So that's what it took. This has Darnell. Uh, you had the two touchdowns. The first one was after Kells' uh, run was uh, called back to the one yard line. Just tell us about that play and then going into uh, score that, that important touchdown. Uh, honestly, it starts with the whole offense. Uh, we, we knew we had the first beer. Uh, Kell had a great run. And then uh, just the offensive line had a great surge. Um, you just got to keep moving your feet. Um, and then everybody else is supporting, pulling everybody in. So. Darnell, were guys, j teammates jumping on you after that touchdown, or were they pulling you up after that? Talk about the, the emotion after getting, in, you know, pulling yourself into the end zone. Uh, I think it was a little bit of both. I had uh, a mod right next to me on the ground with me, holding on to the ball, making sure nobody would stay there. Uh, I mean, the offense and, and the defense, uh, we worked hard collectively as a team, and uh, it showed in the fourth quarter. Alex, just talk about the way the defense responded in the second half. No points, barely any yardage for Buffalo. I mean, yeah, we came in at halftime, and uh, it was really just a few plays, a few huge plays that they had. Um, so it was mental, mental mistakes, um, just not doing our job. So we came in, um, talked about the energy level, and uh, I think we really showed that second half, um, just getting after them. John, uh, come on, just start with um, my beer. The decision to go for it late in the game, fourth and goal, if you ever have any, you know you're going for it as soon as the, that third down play gets called back, you know you're going back out there as an offense? I mean, not all the time, but I know that you know, our, trust, our coaches trust us you know, on offense, and they do a good job in knowing when to go for it and you know, fourth and goal. Uh, when they call it, we know that they're putting their trust in us, and we got we to get it done. So the offensive line, you know, they grabbed us, they said we're going to punch it in, and that's what they did. What's it like having the coaching staff trust you that? You know, in a big yes. spot like that, you can go for it, and they got good confidence you're going to get it's it. It's amazing knowing that the coaches trust us, and uh, it, it gives us confidence to know that we're going to get it done. Darn, I'll say thing to you as soon as that uh, Kel touchdown gets caught back. What's going through your mind as soon as you break that huddle? Yeah, um, intensity uh, rises. Uh, we know that we need to get that touchdown, and everybody's working together as one force to get it in. And uh, Nick, where was that? Was that dialed up? Was that uh, kind of take down your own, or was that the, was that the game plan, man? Uh, no, we had uh, we had kind of a plan going into it, having an idea of whether if, uh, there'd be a hole and to go for it. And coach, uh, it's great that he has that much faith in me. But the legwork was done by the guys to my right, and uh, being able to go for it wasn't immediately my plan. I was just looking downfield to see if I had a spot to rugby punt it end over end and make sure they couldn't return it. But when I saw the spot, I, I just instinctively went for it because that's where we practice every day the rugby right and it was just a uh, this huge testament to coach Monk and the staff having that much faith in me so just kind of like an option punt it if you can but if the hole's there go for it uh if the red sea parts i can go for it but um <laughs> if it's a smaller hole it's not ideal but uh traditionally we'll, we'll punt it right out of there and make sure they don't get the return and i know just uh, throughout the game sometimes you were frustrated on some of your punts throughout the game so what's it mean for you to go out there, get that fourth down that seals the game and, and pick up the team and kind of clinch it? I'm not really wasn't what I was thinking about. I was just making sure uh, I could do my job and uh, give the guys a like, uh, great field position to start because unfortunately I wasn't able to do it on two punts. But uh, you know, my focus shifts to the next one every time. You can't let the old one uh, get at you. You know, The next play is the biggest one to me. And it's just uh, real fortunate that I had the opportunity to do something great for this team because I couldn't in those last two. And uh, Jay, I'm just uh, Talk about that defensive performance in the second half. What was really what I'm clicking for you guys on that side? Um, we just rolled up as the defense, all 11 guys on the field doing our jobs. Uh, Coach Bateman with great calls, and guys like Kenny and Hunt getting back there and making big plays. To everybody. Thank you. Can you guys talk about being this team after what happened last year? <clears throat> uh, yeah, last year, before we went into that game, we had uh, won a game before this game. Last year, we went in there and lost at their house. <clears throat> we didn't 
come out with the mindset uh, that we had today. Obviously, our goal was to win every game, but we definitely knew that we had to, to uh, win this, get a victory today. I was going to ask you, Alex, in the, when it's uh, 17 to 7,